to another video. Once again, I'm out on the bike doing the rounds. It's very hot, uh, very sunny summer so far. Um, today's no exception. It's kind of windy today. Um, and we may have switched the uh, cicada level up a few notches at this location. So I apologize for all the, uh, the sounds going on here. But today, I thought it'd be kind of fun to go visit the Colonel. So, I ran over to KFC. Um, just across the river here, there's a mall that has a KFC in it. And right now they are doing a red hot chicken. So you know I'm interested in that. Now, the red hot chicken itself is nothing new at KFC, but uh, they, they bring it out, you know, once or twice a year. Um, it's never really super hot, as you would imagine. Japanese hot is not really what I consider hot. Okay, so got the red hot chicken. Gotta hang on to that bag. Let's have a look here. It's supposed to have a nice red color. It's it's really warm. It's freshly made. Oh wow! They gave me a massive piece, so I'm excited about that. There's the red hot chicken. The thing that makes this year's Red Hot Chicken campaign a little different is you can also upgrade to get a packet of the Gekikara sauce, the super spicy sauce. Now, as you can see on the package there, or hopefully you can see, there are three levels of heat. Um, there's indicators to say if you put this much, it's going to be level one. You put this much, it'll be level three. And if you use the whole thing, it's going to be level five. You know, <laughs> I, it, I don't know how that increases the heat, but I guess you get more of the hot stuff. So before I dive into this, I'm just going to try the chicken by itself just to see if it's uh, got any heat to begin with. I also, it's awkward to bike with a drink from KFC, so I stopped by a vending machine and grabbed a can of drink. It made it a little bit easier to transport. Um, just the other day, Aaron and I, we shot a new video for the Burger Brothers season six, and he tried this, and I kind of thought, hey, I want to try that too. So, a little, a little foreshadowing for you. So let's let's try a little bit of this. I just break. I can just break. Well, <laughs> I can break a bit of this coating off and give this a shot and see if it's uh, going to be hot at all. Hmm. All right, itadakimasu. Okay. Hmm. Okay, there, there is something more than just the regular Colonel's chicken going on. Very delayed and subtle kind of heat that's sort of building now. So, yeah, maybe they threw a bit of extra cayenne pepper or something in there. They had a, they had a deal going on. I figured, I, I want to eat more than just one piece of chicken, but they had a deal going on. You could get three of the chicken tenders. They're not spicy, they're just the regular ones. But uh, you get a set of three. The campaign's running for like a week or two. Uh, right now, uh, half price. So I got three uh, chicken tenders, regular chicken tenders for 400 yen. The uh, spicy chicken, <laughs> the red hot chicken was 320 yen just for the chicken. And then an extra 30 yen for the uh, spicy Gekikara sauce. So let me squirt some of this on here and we'll see if it makes it any spicier. Well, I mean, I hope it does. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm going to take a bite out of this side here. So let's squirt some of this stuff on here. It's probably, probably level one is what I just put on there. All right, let's get into this. It does look very potentially spicy. It's got a nice, rich look to it, very smooth. Um, all right, here we go. <laughs> Oh, wow, that does have quite a kick to it. Um, it's not at the level of like a uh, Sudden Death, you know, that, that brand, the uh, Blair's Hot Sauces, but it's, it's pretty potent, especially for a KFC. Wow, and it's really kind of building going on there. I'm not sure if it says what's in it or not. 
I'll have to look that up later. But wow, yeah, that is impressive. I would love to have that on one of their burgers, not just a piece of chicken like this. Wow, that's really good. It basically nullifies the need for this to be hot. <laughs> I was thinking, well, I'm gonna try it on that and see if it's any different, but I think it's just so overpowering that it's irrelevant that this is hot to begin with. But I guess if you want something a little hot, just get the hot chicken without the sauce at all. But wow, that is nice and potent. Let's have some more of that. So CC Lemon is a common brand of soft drink here. They brag, doesn't, oh yeah, they brag that it's got lots of vitamin C. <laughs> it's, you know, it's like a lemony soda. But in this case, they've teamed up with, well, teamed up, they've added an extra, <coughs> they've added an extra flavor. It's a Momo mix, peach mix. So uh, here we go. Wow, it's a really strong peach flavor. But it does have hints of the kind of citrus thing going on. So yeah, that's what that's what Aaron said. He said he liked it too. I agree. Really good, especially after eating the spicy stuff. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna eat some of these tenders here. You know, they're just very basic, but uh, I, it was a good deal. 400 yen for three pieces. Got the gekikata sauce on. Mm. It tastes quite different on the normal chicken, surprisingly. Still really good. But I think it does work better on the red hot somehow. So I guess I'm gonna finish these off and head on my way. Let me know if you're in Japan and you've tried the red hot chicken. If you've tried this new Gekikara sauce, what do you think of it? I approve. Um, I guess they had the kiosk where you, you gotta order it by yourself. Um, you could order as many of these as you want. They're 30 yen each though. You can totally plaster your chicken in it. <laughs> I was impressed. It had a nice uh, spicy kick to it, so well done. Colonel. I guess that's it for this video. If you're new here, please subscribe. Don't forget to thumb up this video, ring that dinner bell, and uh, we'll catch you guys.